So the idea for the project, I think it came about a few months ago probably, uh, when we were maybe actually talking on this very roof here about uh, how cool it would be to actually send something um, into space. And I think the biggest part of it was actually recovering it when it did come down. The probability of success is difficult to estimate, but if we never search, the chance of success is zero. First night when we got to the hotel, we were all amped and we'd been in the car for a couple hours driving out from LA. And we got out to the desert and we hadn't even started building this thing yet. We had no idea what it was going to look like or uh, how we were going to put it together. Um, we had seen pictures online to get an idea of what we wanted to do, but we weren't sure. And the first night was a little scary, but it was also really cool when we had it done. We realized that in four or five hours we were going to be launching something to space. We're making the uh, radar. Radar reflector. reflector. I had responsibility for a task that I, I only knew, which was sort of the engineering side of things, um, because I don't know the technology side, but we had, uh, you know, RJ, Mike, Jay, and those guys really have a handle on how do we get this whole project to the next level, which would be bringing it to a larger audience would involve the, the technology side. RJ and I were in charge of the FAA side of launching a balloon to space. Uh, a month before we heard there was a lot of regulations and a lot of um, people we had to speak to before you actually launched, just for safety reasons. You know, I try to help however I can, okay? I think they were being, they were being nice and they told me to line the whole inside of the capsule with uh, foil. Then they immediately took it all out and we didn't need it at all. of the actual balloon launch itself at the site was probably the most exciting part for me because the biggest thing was I didn't think we were going to get off the ground right so the, so that so these guys were worried about finding it I was worried about just getting it off off the ground uh, might not have this is the parachute I know the parachute what that does this uh, battery pack um, I have no clue. I have no idea what this does. The final moments before we let go of the balloon was so scary. I just remember uh, how nervous we all were and we had our, our stupid latex gloves on. We're holding this balloon that we have no idea where it's going to go or where it's going to end up. Um, my GoPro's on there, Jay's GoPro's on there. At that point I was like, we're probably never going to see these GoPros again. Right before launch I had to call air traffic control, let them know what was going on. That was a little nerve-wracking, but the fear really didn't set in until we actually let go of the balloon. Went up, went away, we start driving. Um, about every 10 minutes we're getting a ping and it's giving us coordinates and we're putting them into a map and we're going to look for it and we're kind of tracking it.
found that thing. Uh, I don't know. We finally saw it after walking through this like really rough terrain. We see the package tipped over, the parachute, the cameras are still recording. We go up and grab them and we were all so excited. I'm usually the first one to be like, guys, I think we're getting to that safety point where uh, we probably shouldn't go any further. Um, but we pushed it and uh, we ended up finding it in the desert. Fuck it. Ridiculous. <laughs> The balloon recovery was probably like the hardest thing I have physically done ever in my entire life. Tyler, the California king size bed for all five of us, including you, cameraman. Are you okay with that? Will you be recording in the California king? Who knows what will happen there? You think the depths of space are interesting. What about the depths of the California K? You're welcome.